money. I know I didn't do it, and I got blamed for it each and every time. Mm. Why? Because I laid a record of being a drug addict, a thief, a liar, and a corrupt individual. Amen. So it was easy for someone to blame me. Amen. 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 But Satan will blame you each and every time. Therefore, when I bring forth a fire from the midst of thee, it shall devour thee, and I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. Now let's go to it far. Go to Isaiah. Go to uh, Isaiah chapter 14. The see where Jesus said, Shake the storm like a lightning bolt to the earth. That's Luke chapter 10, verse 18. Time is strength. I got a lot more to cover, so I'm not going to go there. So go to uh, Isaiah 14, and we're going to see his fall. That's the book breaking back. What's that about Luke? What was that about Luke? Luke where? Luke chapter 10, verse 18. That's where uh, Jesus said, I saw Satan fall the lightning bolt to the earth. So that means Jesus was in heaven too. Hello. That means if he said he saw him fall, he must have been there. Because he's what? God. Hello. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Isaiah. Isaiah 14, starting at verse 12. Isaiah 14, starting at verse 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground? Was thou weak in the nations? For thou hast said, Every time you see I will, underline. I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will be above all the angels. Mm. I will. You see how many times you know God said I will? I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation and the sides of the Lord. He's telling God, I'm taking your seat. Hello. Verse 14. I will. <laughs> He's telling God, I'm going to be you. You know God is bad now. Yet, verse 15, yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. How many times did y'all see I will? I will, I will. Every time you said, I will be like this. I will be like that. I'm the best. I'm this. I'm that. You're taking God's glory. And God will cast you down like a lightning bolt to earth. See, that's what happens to me. When I begin to give myself glory for getting clean off drugs, for stop hoeing and cheating, God let me see. It ain't never been you. And until you start giving me glory for your deliverance and telling the truth about your faults and being transparent to others that you are not perfect, I will cast you down to the size of the pit. Amen. Amen. So every time you hear I will come out of you, Amen. reflect. Oh, that's what Satan did. Amen. <laughs> but you know what? Even in his prideful state, he was able to take one third of all the angels with him. Amen. Hello. Hello. Amen. How many people are you convinced to go with you? Amen. I will. Man, I know we can do this. Man, I know we can do that. We can get paid. Then your butt wind up in jail or in the grave. Some place you didn't want to be. Amen? Amen. So y'all got the story of Satan. I mean, I can go into a lot more detail. If you are still believing the fathers of lies, you have not been made free, but only set free for a time. Go to John chapter 8. If you are still believing the fathers of lies, you have not been made free. You've only been set free for a time. Amen. Hmm. <coughs> Look at verse 44. Go look at verse 44 first. What does it say? You are of your father, the devil. And the lust of your father, you will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. He didn't stand in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When we speak a lie, he speaks of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Sin was created in him. Amen. See, you got to listen to people turn their ears off, they shut it down. But it don't matter. You know why? Because you can't stand before God when you die and say you never heard it. So I don't care whether you receive me or not. I don't care whether you like my message. 
spiritual knowledge. But guess what? When you die and stand before God, you are without excuse. You can't say you never heard it before. So you ain't got to open your Bible. You ain't got to believe me. You can tell me I'm wrong. But I tell you what, when you die, Jesus was that little black man told you. Hey. <laughs> and I'll be standing right behind him. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> so shut me off. I don't care. I don't want to have it. And I pray all of you are going with me. Amen. Go back to the verse 30. <laughs> what did I mean by make you free and set you free? The person who blessed me with this was Brother Ron. Brother Ron would never receive the word set free. And I thank God for that. He made me do a search on it. You know, because I would say, thank the Lord set me free. No, he made me free. I'm like, no, he said it. No, he made me free. Ron will not accept set. When I looked it up, if you've been made free, no chains could be put back on you. But if you've been set free, the chains could be wrapped back on you again. You who are claiming set free, you can be locked up again by the devil. Mm -hmm. But if you've been made free, Nah, I don't care what your circumstance is. I don't care what they try to tell you. They can't lock you up no more. Amen. Oh, y'all not getting this. Amen. So when you've been made free, you're free. But if you only been set free, it's only four times that they want to lock you back up. Amen. Amen. Watch, I'll prove it to you. Ooh, man, Ron, I still got five minutes. Right? Go to verse 30. Of uh, eight, you read in eight, verse thirty. And he spake these words, and many believed on him. And Jesus said to those Jews which believed on him, If you continue in my word, then you are my what disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall what make, make you free. Come on now, make, make you free. Now I have a lot more. I want to go over to thirty-six, but we go there. Let's go right over to um, um, jump right over to Galatians five. <laughs> Now this is where it really blessed me. Because after I studied that, and that story in the background concerning you, I called right now and said, brother, you was right. I have been made free. I ain't set. How many of you been made free? Amen. 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 Galatians 5, 1. Stand fast, therefore, in the freedom or the liberty wherewith Christ is what? Made us free. Because he will hear you, see you, and connect with you, and you have been made free. You're not set. Don't get locked up no more. Don't worry about that condition. Keep giving it over to God. Amen? Amen. Woo! Now I'm going to close this. Man, y'all wouldn't believe how much more I have. But I'm going to close with this. Go to 1 John. 1 John. But you can't be set or made if you do this. I would rather respect the person who's been set than a person who do this. When I'm getting ready to show you, and most of y'all, you're getting ready to get some revelation here, I hope. And if you hear it or feel it, just say, thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm getting ready to show you something. Because how many people said, how do you murder somebody, people? You take a gun, a knife, a string, you choke them, push them in front of a train, and that how you murder somebody? Is that how you kill and murder somebody? With your tongue. That's how you poison them, choke them, right? Burn them up alive, right? Let's see what God says how you murder. You ready? What did I say? First John. Yep. Chapter 3. First John, chapter 3. Starting at verse 14. What does it say? We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brother. He that loveth not his brother abide in death. Whosoever hate his brother is a Whosoever hate his brother is a what? Ooh, Did you know you can murder your brother or sister by hating them? Well, that scared me. I better start loving real quick. <laughs> but whosoever hated his brother is a murderer, and you 
shut him up his bowels of compassion instead of helping him talk about it. Got a complaint and murmur complaining about everything just like that God's gift to this ministry. When the ministry helped you. Come on. Now, we, you, we, you doing us a favor. No, you ain't. You need to be thanking God every minute that you are allowed to mop a floor, do a dish, clean a room. You need to be saying, thank you, Lord. Yeah, right. Amen. See, that, that's our preaching, isn't it? Or leave. Amen. Because there's somebody who needs your space. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. Well, he shuts up his vows and compassion for him. How do well the love of God in him? No love is in him. No love is in him. Now, for spiritual growth, I may have to come back and teach on this again, and I will. But if you want to learn spiritual growth, there's one chapter that describes it for you who love studying the word, pray about it, look at it, look at it, but there's different versions. And that's uh, that's going to be 1 John chapter 2, verses 11 to 23. You'll see it talking about little children. Young men and old men. That's called spiritual growth. Not natural growth. Because as the older you get, you will be able to defeat the devil. Because it comes at you in three ways. Lust of the God, lust of the flesh, and a pride of life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, we just thank you in the mighty name of Jesus for this word. I pray that they be transparent in their conditions. I pray that they are not ashamed of their condition. That they will not walk in denial. That they will walk in truth and integrity. That you will hear them. See them and join with them, Lord God, so they can get to praise you. Because the only one that can keep them from falling is you. The only one that can keep them from stumbling is you. The only one that can desire to praise and glory for their deliverance and victory is you. So I thank you for everyone in this room's deliverance. Everyone in this room's victory. Because they were walking true. Because they have been made free. And no more chains of oppression and bondage can be placed upon them. I thank you for this in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you agree with me, say amen. amen. amen.